Hi, welcome. This uh, movie is going to be about um, VMware and the latest kernel. First off, what machine is this? I'm pressing, well, let's say I've made some articles on rdupois.pe about i3 and about Antergos i3. In that way, I used VirtualBox and there are some problems with VirtualBox. And now the question is, are there problems with VMware? And yes, there are problems with VMware. Why? Because when I press, I'm on i3, when I press Windows Enter, I get my terminal and I do the screen fetch command or the neo fetch command, which you can install through my GitHub. You see that I'm on the latest kernel, 4.9.5. The version we can download for a VMware player is not compatible to 4.9.5. First off, I found some, I don't know, Chinese, Japanese websites and I thought this seems to be the solution and luckily there was also a link to the English version. So I uh, found a solution online and I wanted to share in a tutorial. The more people that share the solution, the more people will, will find it. So it's possible to run uh, VMware on a latest kernel 4.9.5. Okay, let's do that together. In the meantime, I'm showing you how i3 works. We're on a Linux Mint machine, as you can see. And let's go ahead. There is a GitHub online and GitHub from Eric Dubois. And you'll find the Ultimate Linux Mint 18.1 Cinema. And inside is Projects, VMware, MVM Player. This is paying, this is free. And here is a program to run the, or install the VMware player. It's quite, uh, it's a good way to do these scripts because uh, well, it's a good way from VMware as well. It's always the latest you'll get. So we're going to get from this URL, the latest version and uh, we'll run it. But that's not for now. First off, we have to install this patch. Well, there is not, um, just a double click patch no it's a text file you have to follow there are some rules some some places you have to go to have to uncompress things and have to change things from line that to line that into this into that and you can see if you scroll down that we are going to include the number the kernel version 4.9 so i suppose when we are at four uh, sorry at five and then we'll have to, to check it again. All right, so this is the, the text. This is what we should do, and now we should do it. All right, um, let's go to our workspace 8. So i3 is divided in workspaces. At the moment, I am just working uh, on one screen, but it, the power and the fun for me is that I have two screens. So 1 to 5 goes on screen 1 and 6 to 10 come go to screen 2, which makes it a lot easier for me. But if for the tutorial's sake, well, it's just one screen now. So on 8, I have my file manager, which is Nemo in Ultimate Linux Mint 18.1. And um, this is where we have to go to in order to find our places so we have to go to user that's all i've remembered so we have to go to let's scroll up user lib vmware modulus user lib vmware we can type it vmware modulus am i missing it again let's check user lib vmware modulus oh yeah sure 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 <laughs> it goes without saying that if you want to run it, you have to install it first. Haha. <laughs> All right. So back to our ultimate Linux Mint and then projects VMware. We should run it first. So running it here like so, or you can go up here and say install me. And there it is. We can't change anything that's not yet installed. Obviously. Eric, Eric. Run it. I accept it. Of 
course we do we've read all the lines would you like to check for product startup rather not and statistics no license key will come later and there we go we're installing the latest workstation player 12 And it would have been nice if just everything worked out of the box. And the reason why I'm installing it again was because I installed i3 WM on Antergos on VirtualBox on Linux Mint 18.1 on i3. <laughs> Complicated. Right, installation was successful. Then you should go to Windows D, which is my menu. It's on top here. And it's not called VMware. That's all the rest. It's called VM Player. So, running this, and there you have it already. There's an issue. The GNU C compiler or GCC version 6.2.0 was not found if you installed it on a non default path and so on. Okay, next you do is something like this. You should install sudo apt install mlocate I think it's the name yeah mlocate you should install this first then you should update the database like so that's always a good thing to do because this is a clean installation and then locate now we can locate stuff with it um, so GCC a lot of information the question is do we have the 5? Yes, suppose so. No, not inside. Minus 5. The 5 is available. The 6 is available, but it's still available in my scripts. So it doesn't really find its documents, documents, documents. Basically, I found out that GCC-6 is not yet installed. That's why this little program up here is here. And it says add a repository, the toolchain, Ubuntu toolchain test, and it's going to install GC, GCC6. And this line as well is very important to tell them to update alternative to make sure that the 5 is going to be the 6. All right, run it. Let's go, we can delete that as well. Let's go to here. And let's run this one, upgrade to, I'm going to make it a small capital, remember to update it later on GitHub. And now upgrade to GCC, enter. And let's have our very latest compiler. There we go. Done. And this is my latest line using user bin G C C six to provide the GCC in auto mode. So it's set to use the latest version. Okay. Um, no, let's now retry. So those are the steps I would do. It will not work yet, but those are the steps we would do normally. We would run again. And then it says before you can run VMware, several modules must be compiled. So okay, whatever, you compile it. Is that my correct password? Yeah, that's okay. There you get your error. That's the things, those things we're gonna fix them. We could go to the log, why not? It's an educational tutorial. So you go to the temp, VMware, root, and you remember 22111. That's an easy number. Let's get rid of that. We go to the temp, to the VMware log, I thought it was called. Was it this? I think it was. 
we can open as root. We can keep working in it like it would be a graphical installation. That's the power. And a lot of things, but down here, or was it up there? Depends how log is made. Uh -huh. Long log. Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. I think it was this one. And you go down, and here you see it. So failed to build VM net. That's all I had to go on. I googled. I googled. Like I said, I came on this Chinese or this Japanese site, and then everything went good, and I went not sour. So, all right. Then I found the solution that I kept up here. And the solution I've closed it yet already. So here, in here, in there, the patch. We should do this. Let's open our user and then let's this time move this worker, this, this uh, file manager to page two or workspace two. Moving it there means it's next to each other. It's better for me. And then user lip vmware scroll down even more up again excuse me vmware modules source and then there's a lot of uh, tarring and untarring if you're not the terminal kind of guy and then wanted to do a graphical solution for you then you follow my lead you say open as root in the next minute and here you go you have it opened as root. It's now on 8 again. So we don't see it here. So let's put it again on the right spots. Windows Shift 2. And it's here. We can close this one. And we have these two next to each other. So what are they telling actually in, in plain English? You have to extract it. Extract. And then FMNet. So let's do the one first. Let's do it one by one and then extract here. A strange thing happens, so it's called VMNet and it's unpacking as VMNet dash only. So keep that in mind. And then we go to uh, 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 net only. That's inside user if C. And that is here. User if C. We open it and we see that from line, we don't have any lines. Let's do get some lines. Voila. From line 113, more or less, because things will differ in the future. This seems to be correct. From here, this is the code here. We can do it like that. You see there's already a difference between elements here. 4.6. No, no, it's okay. It's the same. Not yet a difference. So anyway, we have to get these lines. Control C. And we're going to pop them on here. So the ifs and the end ifs. Delete it. And Control V. Insights. Control S. Saved. That's done. You can close this one. Uh, really close this one then we can go up and since we are experimenting it's a good thing to the control C control V and maybe let's do that as well for the next one the next one is VM mom which is this one control C control V so we're safe we can always go back and see what the originals were I'm gonna leave them as well I'm not gonna change now um, we are working on VMNet, remember, we are going to pack it back in, compress it back and you have to watch out, not as star gz, but as star and not as only, but as VMNet. Create, of course it exists, but you can replace it, 
because we have a copy. We could delete this one if you like. So we do it. And then the next one is VM1 only, but in this in movie here we have VM1 already extracted. So we should extract it first. Extract it. VM1 only and then scroll down. We should edit in Linux something. So folder Linux and then G edit host if C this one. And then scroll to line 1162. So respect for the people who find these solutions. They are really reading code. 1162. So it's up here. Let's check. Unsigned uh, address. Yep. That's it. And we're going to change it to this. See that everything is selected correctly. Control C. And now don't misalign. Control V. Save. That's saved. We can quit this. When it's saved, we need to pack it back in. So this one should be called again VMMON. Okay, compress a star and only goes away. Create. It's this is a correct message. If if you get this message message, then it's correct. Okay, replace. And then we are almost done. Yes, we are done. The end because these two lines mean you're gonna compress it again. The C from compress. There we go. The patch is done. We close it and we should really just run the thing and hope for the best. Windows D VM player enter. So now nice. we have a new kernel, a new um, compiler, and we have these patches in place to have to be let's hope that it works on a few 4.9 now and there we go success 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 and we are off to do you want the mail yes put in your mail this is my personal mail without space of course and this is my mail in Belgium and there we go, we can install VMware or we can install a new virtual machine and that will be another movie. Have fun!